I am Kathleen Murphy. I am the Executive Clinical Director of Breathe Life Healing Centers in Los Angeles, California. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. Breathe is a treatment center that people come into for a period of 60 to 90 days and it has a full continuum of care. When people are struggling with substance abuse or even sometimes people come just because they're not able to function in their life because their past traumas are interfering with their ability to interact in the here and the now. I have actually the great honor and privilege of getting to create the whole clinical program that's designed to uh, use the best clinical modalities that are available, I mean, on the planet. I was seriously alcoholic by the time I was 12 years old. And I also was um, born into a family where I wasn't wanted. And my mother was a severely mentally ill woman. I went to 14 rehabs. By the time I got sober, I was living on the street. I had nowhere to go. And I began to learn about what being happy means in that arena. What I learned how to do was even though I did not have one thing, you can't take away my capacity to give and create meaning or to be, to find something that I have to give to be of service to another human being, even in the worst environments. And I began holding in mind the history of all the people that have lived and suffered before me who like MLK, like in, like like Gandhi, like you know Mother Teresa, like people who took suffering and transmuted it into gold. And I'm like, I might be the lowest of the low, but I am that too. I'm capable of that too. There's a lot of judgment, a lot of stigma to addiction, and especially women with addiction. And so unlearning that is very hard, and it's very long, and it's very difficult. But that's where I began to generate my mission, that I was gonna be someone who walked through that, and I was gonna sit in this chair, and that I was gonna contribute to how we really help people heal instead of just going, look, you just don't wanna be clean, you just don't wanna get over it, you just were that stigma. If you're enslaved by anything, including enslaved by anxiety or addiction or depression or even thoughts that are terrorizing and then you're driven by a hundred forms of these kind of fears and anxieties, you're not free. People seek relief from that through overspending, gambling, substance abuse and use and drinking and drugging and sexing and texting and all the things that are strategies to create happiness, except for they don't create that. So how you inspire people to believe that there's a possibility even though there's no evidence in the past for that. That's the work. And in order to do that, you can't, you have to be real. You have to be authentic. You can't be, you know, I'm a therapist. You know, people use that therapist-y voice. Well, how do you feel today? You know, all that bullshit. Yeah, that didn't work here. You have to be true, real, authentic, so that you know that I know, and I know that you know. I graduated from college when I was 40. It's not too late, you know. When I was 50, it's like my life took off. I was a person that nobody would even want to hear one sentence. And then to arrive at the day where someone's like, let me write down what you're saying, <laughs> I just think, how amazing is that, that we, that this is what's possible. I think that's it. I am Kathleen Murphy, and this is The Femward. Word.